unlock him. What? You heard me. You know what this man can do? I'm here to find out. Lose the restraints. Hey. What's this, uh, cheerleading tryouts? Let's go. Let's see what you can do. You say you never missed a shot. Cool. People, badass Dark Zone agent, Butcher in the building. Warm welcome to my channel and another Digin2 build video. If you are new here, welcome to the family. And guys, today I have for you one of the best SMG builds for PvP, and of course, you can use it in PV. PV right now is really simple with good DPS build. Basically, you can clear everything with no problems whatsoever. But in PvP, guys, we have a lot of amplified weapon damage. And since we are using SMG class, that means that you don't have to think about crit chance anymore. You can invest everything in crit damage or damage to armor. And quite frankly, by using SMG, you can give yourself versatility. Now you can invest in second tier attributes like armor regen and hazard protection. And boy oh boy guys, oh, flamethrower is still overpowered in PvP in conflict. That bastard hits harder than a truck man. You saw I killed two agents with one flamethrower hit. Man oh man oh man oh man, they need nerf it. And trust me, previously it was even worse. Developers nerfed that flamethrower, but it's still OP. And that's why we are using firewall as well for conflict. But guys, this build is a little bit tricky to pull together, but I have solution for new players as well. So this set will be good for everybody, for experienced players, for PvP players and of course for new players as well. But before we continue guys, I just wanna let you know that we have some sponsored ads. And guys, if you don't have enough time or good teammates but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Dwing.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team on Xbox. They will complete your order twice as fast. Everything happens with account sharing guys. This service has been working for many, many years. It has tons of customer reviews. And now with my promo code RBDIV, you will receive 15% discount on all services. On any service, you will have discount, guys. Right now, there is only option for direct payments. If you have questions, please type your message and operator will reply you immediately. And now, guys, let's get back to my best SMG build. This is super strong in PvP, guys, because we can invest in crit damage and I'm using MPX. It has really high base damage, it has nice stability, it has 50 bullet magazine size and you have amazing, amazing burst damage. I love MPX. You could use Vector with 1200 RPM, that bad boy is really strong, one of the best SMGs for sure, but you have to learn how to play with Vector, it's really quick, well, if you will not hit your target, most likely you will reload non-stop, so keep that in mind, but MPX is perfect for me, it has bullets, amount of bullets just like assault rifle, it, it's stable, and since we have a lot of crit damage, it will be amplified by our SMG, not SMG, sorry, Sadist, because we are using Rigway's Exotic Pride chest, and we are using Sadist and Wicked, and man oh man, it slaps. Guys, I will be back with my build guide. Agents, this build is absolutely ridiculous. It's easily one of the best PvP SMG sets you could run because we have a lot of crit damage and it will be amplified by your Sadist. I'm running Sadist on MPX and oh man, oh man, with no further ado, 
let's get into it. Welcome to Insanity, guys. For specialization, I'm using Firewall because that flamethrower is freaking overpowered in conflict. God damn, you can one shot people with it. And don't forget that you have shield, which will improve your damage and you will boost your team's overall damage as well. For the guns, guys, I'm running MPX with Sadist. But my second gun is Exotic SMG Lady Dead. Unfortunately, this gun is meta gun in PvP for 6 months, I think, straight. It has a lot of damage. That one magazine with full bullets will deal insane amount of damage. You see those crazy numbers, but when I will empty my lady dead i will switch to my mpx and i will stick it because look how much damage it provides us and we have 1.5 million armor and of course armor regen as well mpx i just love how it works with it's say this it's super stable we have the same amount of ammo just like assault rifles in lady dead you have only 32 bullets you will basically very quickly lose your magazine but MPX works pretty nice and RPM is the same almost guys like Lady Dead or maybe FAMAS. FAMAS also has 900 RPM. Of course guys you could use this build with assault rifles but then you have to think about crit chance and most likely you will lose crit damage so this build in close range you will overplay or overpower assault rifles for pistol i'm using orbit name and pistol with perfect finisher talent this bad boy will give us crit damage basically you have to kill somebody and just switch to your main gun and you will receive perfect finisher and the crit chance and crit damage boost now let's move on for the gear for the mask i'm using sokolovs with crit damage i'm rolling here armor has the protection guys is not necessary in this set you could have here for example headshot damage or maybe i don't know Weapon handling, it depends on your preference. Weapon handling, why do you need weapon handling? <laughs> guys, sorry for that weapon handling suggestion. But like I said, guys, SMGs will allow you to use any second tier attribute like armor regen or hazard protection when you will fill out your crit damage. For chest piece, I'm running exotic rigway sprite chest piece. I know, I know, guys, it's a little bit pain in the ass to get the chest piece, but it works so beautiful well with your sadist and wicked. The synergy with this combo is ridiculous. You should you get bleed it activates sadist and now wicked is procced as well so please go do one time summit farm summit for one time get your keys from uh, each uh, difficulty finish summit unlock project and you will have that exotic rig based price chest piece it's super strong like i said it's a little bit tricky to pull this build together but once you will get this set you will not be disappointed if you don't have rig based pride you could use trauma talent as well in this build guys and i'm using sombra holster for crit damage boost but for backpack i'm running walk and harris with the wicked and guys i understand that there are a lot of new players and maybe you don't have lady that then i recommend you to use shotgun super 90 shotgun with say this this bastard will hit like a truck it's one of the best shotguns in the class like i said this set is really versatile if you don't have rig based pride use trauma but meanwhile please farm for rig based chest piece if you don't have lady dead use shotgun super 90 you see how much crit damage we have and crit chance and with some optimization this build will be ridiculous and if I will get on my mask crit chance, I will be at cap, I will be at 60 and guys for the skills everything is really simple, sticky bomb is super strong in pvp, seek your mind on or stinger hive or maybe shield, it depends on your preference but like I said this set is really easy because I'm using two pieces from Wo not walking the Harry story but from hunter's fury gear and why it's easy because you can craft them if you don't have those pieces with crit damage you can easily craft knee pads and gloves or go to the summit and farm here but farm please floor 100 but guys if you want to get maximum damage absolutely the best damage out of this build guys then 
you should use LMG gloves, name it Petros gloves with damage to armor and overlord knee pads. Again, name a knee pads with damage out of cover, but to get those with crit damage is really tricky. It's pain in the ass to farm for those pieces. Like I said, put here Petros gloves and over overlord knee pads with damage out of cover attribute, and this will give you even more damage but to get those pieces so you could roll here armor is really hard task it will be tricky it will be painful i i can promise you that of course maybe if your rng is godlike and you are lucky or maybe you have in your stash those pieces then put those on and you will have the best smg build but if you're a new player use two pieces from hunter's fury set Roll for crit damage and change core attribute for armor and you're ready to go. Bye.